internal modification of the T191 GBBR. I'm just gonna skip the disassembly of the T191 GBBR because there are plenty of video regarding that. I have made one video about that as well, so if you want to know how to fill strip it, how to disassemble it, you can check my previous video. As for right now, we only need the nozzle and the nozzle spring. And now we just need to cut off the top part of the nozzle spring to make it flush with the nozzle itself. Alright, now we need to make the top of the spring flat, otherwise it won't be able to sit on the nozzle perfectly. It won't sit in the hopper chamber perfectly either. So what you need to do is to find a clamp and clamp the top of the spring together. Find a lighter All right, there we go. Now with the spring is modified, the FPS should be much more consistent than out of the box. But the issue comes with this modification is that the FPS will get a big bump. It will reach above 400 FPS with 0.25 gram BBs, which is a little bit too hot for most of the field. So what you could do is to add an O-ring to here, like what I did in previous video. As for the O-ring, every each of the one-on-one -on -one come with a pack of backup O-rings. There is a very small one inside of this pack that you can use for this purpose. Now you just need to put it on the nozzle and the internal modification is done. Now you're looking at consistent FPS around 380s, and I believe if you want to reduce the FPS furthermore, you will have to wait for the low FPS nozzle to be sold by ENL. Much better.